Switch over to film. Oh, it seemed a natural progression. I came to a kind of a, a dead end and wanted to say more, uh, wanted to show more. And uh, ever since I was little, I've just seen life in uh, the big, the big screen. On the big screen. So, uh, your life, you've seen life in the big screen. So when you see life, you envision how it would be done in a movie. Exactly. <coughs> Someone's life, I can put it on. In my head, I put it on the screen. See if it's worthy. <laughs> right. So, what's the toughest part about learning film? The most challenging is it's not like a song where people can listen to it over and over again. You have to catch their attention and make them remember something like the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. It has to be. You have to catch them in the beginning. Yeah. I like that too. Grab their attention right away. And then, I mean, be because to... they don't go to a movie over and over and over again, like they said. You know, right. Something that has to stick with them. Like certain scenes in movies you've seen years ago, they'll stick in your mind if they're really done well. So that's the challenge to make something that will stick in our minds. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, it's, how do you make it stick? How do you make it stick? I mean, do we remember, you know, film well, and I said, when, when you see a film and remember it, is it the the characters that make you remember it, or is it just the cinematography of it, or...? Well, well one scene in uh, uh, Down in the Valley with Ed Norton, mm -hmm. um, this horse was trapped in a, a garage. That, that scene has stuck with me ever since. It was a powerful, powerful scene. The sound, the why the horse was in there, kind of everything came, the meaning of the movie came in to be known by this one horse, this one scene. And just like the scene in the you know, dead horse and the godfather in the bed, uh, the horse's head. I mean... Because so, that's because it's so graphic. It's, <coughs> not, the person is defenseless, yeah. right? And then the blood is everywhere. So it's, it's the... Right. It speaks, it's got to speak to a, uh, an emotion deep in you. And it's, it's hard. I mean, you don't just create scenes like that to, to um, get a reaction. It, it has to fit. A, a fine line, not just gratuitous violence, um, something that has me the challenge. You know, a scene from a movie sticks with me is um, got the Ghostbusters, the state left the marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> and he's throwing up the building. Nice. That's the part that really stuck with me forever. It's all coming. Yep, you're you're a deep man, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so when you when you're thinking about a new project, your new project is going to is you told me is kind of an experimental something, right? Um <laughs> <laughs> it's a concept video. Concept music video, video yeah. So an experimental something. It's an experimental something. <laughs> as opposed to like, it's, well, I'm just going to do something that's been done a billion times it's before. A weird <laughs> right. It's a weird thing. You brought a clip of a, from a film, right? <laughs> Excellent. And can you tell us about the, the setup it's of the clip? The latest film I, I did, um, it's called Rumors Fly. It is about a plastic bag that parallels the escape of a thief. And, it and follows all of, a thief. It follows, yeah. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Let's You've got the, the remote. The remote. Let's see if I, I'm really technologically challenged. I'm going to try to play. Hard to beat. Did you hear that? Yeah. That's encouraging. That's good sound. That's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I hear the beat too. This is uh, this is our stage, our director, <laughs> stage manager, technician, cultural, technological barista, novice, novice. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna be he's gonna be working on that. So how did the idea